Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. I am Kim Warner, and I'm just going to discuss a little bit of um, information about um, flying horses, if you dream of flying horses. And so um, you can go for Christians. You can go to 19 and 11 of Revelations. A messenger is sent, and Jesus is called faithful and true. Uh, in 1911 according to the vision that John saw and so uh, for those that dream and don't understand their dreams if they see a white horse the white horse is coming to either take you to a place or to help you to get a message that's sent from the spirit realm now one of the things that I've had experience with when I talked about winged horses from the time I was a young girl seeing them is that People didn't believe it. And I do believe in lining things up with the Bible because I am a Christian. And so when you line up John's vision, according to Jesus being faithful and true, the horse had to be in a, in a way that it was in an upper level. It was in a higher level. So um, it had to be um, seen from this world or out of this world into another realm. And so the other realm gives us opportunity to create and to see things from a diverse um, perspective, whereas the world gives us a linear uh, vision. So when we look at a flying white horse and it is um, in our dreams, we can interpret it ourselves, or, you know, spirit will have worked with us for some time to show us how to interpret our dreams. And for me, the white horse is a messenger that takes us into the next realm to get information to see uh, what needs to be seen and brought back into this realm. And we're the conduits that bring the information back, just like John saw Jesus. Jesus um, is the Christ, and the Christ within each and every one of us is going to give us a message. The Christ doesn't just live um, to just sit within us. The Christ is living within us to be activated to give messages according to what's going on in the world. Remember, we are in this world, but not of it, right? And so what that means is that we'll go into other realms and come back here to give a message. So any of us that are holding messages, um, we could be held responsible in a way that it could cause trouble or challenges in our life. So the message here today is for those that dream, if you dream about white horses, why am I talking about particular things? Because I'm getting messages to tell people about these things. I'm sure other people have discussed different um, ways of how they see um, visions and that, and that's wonderful. I respect everyone, but this is the way that I'm doing it. Another thing that um, was giving is um, the word clearing. While we look at the things that are going on in the world, we we constantly collect information that may not be conducive to what God has given us, which causes blocks, right? And so if we get some time, take some time to sit in space quietly with God, then what happens is we can receive a clearing because there's a clearing going on. Um, and if you receive it, then you can get it. Um, I often tell students that work with me, if you're congested in your mind and you're not thinking clear, you got a lot of um, information going on where you've been in your head, start seeing yourself put all of that stuff in a garbage can in your mind. That's a spiritual work. You got to spiritually clear your mind. And it's just not by saying I am cleared or cleansed by the blood or my mind is clear speaking to it. But action within yourself brings clarity as well. Throw those thoughts into a garbage can, you know, see yourself picturing it. Because if you can see yourself receiving money, you can see yourself cleaning your mind up like you clean up your house. Amen. And so you guys um, email me at ifwbuilders at gmail.com. If you have any questions, if you want to sign up for spiritual coaching, um, advisory classes, or even be a part of our um, conference is coming up in October. Email me at ifwbuilders at gmail.com. The conference is going to be focused on 
um, men and women of power. Uh, we have to get our power back in a unified way and stop being disconnected, come together and build up our strength as a uh, people. Amen. All right. So you guys have a wonderful day.